seventh time loop, the villainess enjoys a carefree life married to her worst enemy. Is an anime based on a light novel. It just finished up airing in the winter 2024 anime season. And this show is kind of like if you mixed Re Zero with a rom com. It's a pretty interesting premise where Rishay Weissner is in a time loop, obviously, for the seventh time, where she's 15 years old and she's getting dumped by the crown prince. He's cutting off their engagement. And then, based on her response to this, it takes her down different paths in life. So, obviously, the show focuses on the seventh iteration. And this iteration, she runs into Prince Arnold, who's the crown prince of Galkine. And in five years, they're going to have started a big war. And she always ends up dead at age 20, five years later. Sometimes directly because of the war, sometimes indirectly. In the first episode, you get kind of a montage of her six lives and their deaths. So in the first one, obviously, when the crown prince dumps her and cuts off the engagement in public, and he's trying to be a total dick about it and humiliate her, She's super caught off guard and shocked and she kind of just runs away and ends up running into a merchant crew and then she becomes a merchant for five years. She ends up dying and then the next time she's like, what the hell is happening? And she's been taken back five years to when she's being dumped in public again. And obviously each time she's more used to it and she's trying to figure out what decisions that she can make to make her life better and obviously to live longer. In these different iterations of her life, for instance, on the second one, she tries to pack up and grab her things and then go meet the merchants but she's late so that takes her down a different path so we end up with this girl who has all this knowledge of essentially six lifetimes so she's been a merchant she's very familiar with herbs and like medicines and that sort of thing and one of them she was a scholar and she studied kind of academics she was a maiden one and then another one she was a knight where she went undercover as a guy and learned how to fight with a sword and that's actually the one that we see as her sixth one where she's killed directly by Arnold himself. So once her seventh iteration starts, she's like, hmm, I've always gone out the front entrance. Maybe I'll try a different path out of here and see what options that gives me. She runs into Prince Arnold, and he's pretty interested in her because she's so odd. And then obviously, based on just the title alone, he proposes to her, and she agrees to it if he promises to not touch her, and if she's allowed to just kind of do what she wants and loaf around and chill. She's lived seven different lives, six different jobs. So this one, she just kind of wants to be a couch potato. But really what ends up happening is she wants to get to know Prince Arnold better because he's the one who kills his own dad, who's the emperor of Galkine, and then starts this big war. So she's trying to use her previous knowledge from all these different iterations to prevent that war from happening and obviously to extend her own life. It's got some serious moments, but for the most part, it's a pretty lighthearted show. Like, she's kind of a troublemaker, and Prince Arnold isn't really mad about it. He's always just kind of, like, exasperated. And he's like, I'm not going to try to tell you what to do, because you'll probably just do it anyway. But you need to keep these things in mind, is generally his attitude. But then she sees how he deals with enemies, and obviously he was a military guy, so he's killed a bunch of people. And she's trying to find out more about his background to prevent him from taking over as the emperor and starting the war. So she's using each iteration and the different knowledge to try to make different connections and kind of get Prince Arnold to lighten up a little bit and not start this war is the gist of the show. And at first she seems really annoyed by him. And as they hang out more and spend more time together, she's pretty openly accepted that she wants to marry him or she's going to marry him regardless. And he even says, you know, the idea of me finding a foreign wife was essentially to hold her hostage and have a hostage from another country to negotiate with later and all that sort of thing. My guess is that it's probably mostly women that watch this show, but I really enjoyed it, so I wanted to talk about it. And obviously, as the show goes on, you get to meet people from her different lives. You get to see some of the different skills she has. At this point, she's lived 45 years, and 30 of those years, she's had some kind of specialty or learning that she's done before she died. I haven't had a chance to read the light novels yet, but I think it's probably one that I'm gonna, because I really enjoyed it. There's probably people out there who are hypersensitive to culture war shit, and would try to say that she's a Mary Sue or something along those lines. I'm not sure if people have that take or not. This is the type of show that I could see people having that attitude about because she has such a variety of skills, but she died for all those skills. So to me, it's like she learned and earned them. She's not just some prodigy, even if it seems that way to the people in her current life. So I'm not gonna go too long about it. There's not a ton to say. I think if you watch the first episode or two, you'll know whether or not it's for you. I really enjoyed it. The plot's getting pretty interesting, so I'm a little bit bummed about where the anime had to cut off. 
But I guess that's how they get you to buy the light novels. So yeah, check it out. Let me know what you think. If you watch the show, comment, let me know what you think. I'll respond. If you haven't seen it, but you end up watching it, also let me know. My channel has enough subscribers now, thanks to you guys, for there to be members. Right now, there's only one tier in there because I'm not exactly sure how I want to go about the member thing. I mean, my channel is super small, so I obviously don't expect many. And the incentive right now is that you can pick a movie or a short series or a few episodes of a show for me to watch. If you'd like me to watch them and review them or discuss them, I should probably start live streaming some too. If you're interested in that and you, or you have suggestions on how to improve it, let me know. Like and subscribe and all that shit. Thanks. See ya.